All right, we're the blue player, and the map is Mall of the Dead. And these are the bonuses. And this blizzard makes the food court a three-point hold. And this blizzard makes the grocers a one-point hold. This blizzard makes the bridge a two-point hold, which the purple seems to have noticed. And this blizzard also makes the uh, business corner here a two-point hold. Actually, no, four-point hold. Never mind. These blizzards don't do much of anything. I would love to get this one-point hold right here. Oh, wait, there's a blizzard right here. This blizzard makes this bonus right here a one-point hold. So this plus five is actually pretty good, too. And because of this blizzard right here, you can actually grab all of this right here and a one-point right there for plus six. A lot of good blizzards here, and I am not strong for many of them. Yellow's going for this over here. They want this right here. Actually, all you can hold all three of these bonuses on a one-point hold right there. And you can also hold these two bonuses on a one-point hold right here. Also very strong. I've got more troops down here. If purple grabs this bonus, yellow gets strong here, and I get strong over here, then purple will be stuck in the middle of the two of us. Ooh, I don't like red going over here. I want to see red go for over here. Mmm. Red wants this bonus here, this plus six. That's a one, two, three point hold. I say we play it safe. We're not going to get this in the first turn. It's kind of hard to get uh, quick bonuses on this map. Fortify these back over here to safety, in case somebody decides they want to attack here. I'm going to fight red for this down here if I can. Oh, that's great that green is going for this. Because once they secure this, they can do nothing other than go out and fight yellow over here. As long as we push them their green troops out of here. Green, yellow, purple, red, myself. If I can beat red, we're very, very strong. Actually, if purple grabs this, they can grab and defend over here pretty well too. And prevent yellow from ever getting their bonus right here. And there is the plus six on round two for them. With the one point hold right there, a great start. No, it's a two point hold, I messed up. There's a spot right there that connects. Yellow's not sure what to do. Maybe they've realized, ooh, bad dice, unlucky. I think yellow's kind of out of it, unless they play very patiently. I think they just realized they can't actually hold this bonus because purple's down there. They attack my one, don't love that for me. Guess they're trying to get an easy card and I was the target there. Three troops for red. Ooh, they stacked some right here and then did a card trade over there, clever. They realized that I'm going for this as well. I'm gonna make sure to come over here and attack uh, this from you, because I don't want you having any troops over here. I lost none, that's fantastic. I'll attack over here because I want to be able to connect up uh, these, ooh, no troops lost is great. I want to be able to connect these up over to here. Green's working on getting their bonus up there. It's going well for them. They'll have it, uh, I think, next turn. 12 troops for purple is a threat. I think green and yellow stalemate, while myself and red stalemate for a while, and purple might roll away with it if we're not careful. But what could be their downfall as a fact is that they're splitting the board. Once green and yellow settle this, they have to push through purple to attack anywhere else. Ooh, and purple instead is going in this way and taking out red for them and getting great dice too. Ooh, red's mad about that. I think yellow's a novice. Why would they leave that five pinned there? Here's the problem. If I fight red here, purple might just beat these guys before I can even deal with red, and they have all of this. Yellow's trying to get an easy card somewhere, and they're not getting the dice. Yeah, they're a novice. They didn't even manage to get a card. Ooh, this is... Oh, this is great. Yes, yes, I need this. It's actually smart of them to try and push purple out of there, but it also weakens them up, so it's going to be easier for me to deal with them. But I do like your idea of getting purple out of here, because they could be a big threat for us. So if I get good dice... We'll try and get you out of here as best as we can. I don't think I need to worry about yellow too much, per se. I mean, if I get good dice... Do we get good dice? We do. I imagine red breaks me next turn. Stacks three here, hits this. Good dice here, hits this. Good dice breaks me. I like green trying to come in this way to deal with purple. They need more than a 5v7, though. Ten for purple. Yeah, they slap green out of there and get great dice. And they claim another bonus, the plus 10 for the bridge. I need red to not break me so we can have an alliance and deal with purple. Three for yellow. They get a card over there, okay. And they fortify over to there, interesting. Red, I'm going to offer you uh, a little thing called an alliance. Let's be buddies. Show them the love. Let's get along. Ooh, interesting play. They were hoping to win that 5v3 and then be buddies with me and us work together against purple. Well, we're going to be the hero that the world needs, and we're going to come up here and stop Purple from taking over everything because they are just far too strong up here. I need them to not be quite so devastatingly powerful. Green says, well played. Thank you, Green. Hopefully the other players realize as well. If I hadn't done that, Purple, I think, just rolls away with it, getting that plus 16 next turn. I need to even this battle so the three of them kind of like st stalemate a little bit up there while I kind of push through here and get this into over here. Get both of these bonuses on a one-point hold right here. This is where purple being in the middle of the board is kind of tough for them. One, two, three points they're trying to defend. Leaves me a nice weak spot to deal with. They still have the most troops right now, though. I intentionally did not hit this one, so I want to keep that 14 trapped over there. They can break that and reclaim that. I'll just hit them again next turn. They had a card trade to make that happen, too. Oh, they're trying to push me out of there, huh? 
I'm getting a plus five. They get plus 16. I have to break them again. There's no way I can let them hold that. Yellow did not take their turn. They might become a bot. It's hard to say. Ooh, red trading could be a problem. They could break me here. They really shouldn't. They need me to break purple. Let's be along. Let's get along, be buddies. Red seems like a decent player from what I've seen so far. Okay, they're not going to break me. That's fantastic. We can just get along. Although, aren't you getting a bigger bonus? You are getting a bigger bonus than me. That's a problem. If I'm being the hero against purple, then we have a problem here. You card traded to make that happen, right? Purple's just going to have to hold that bonus this turn. They still have green behind them. I can't let you hold this bonus. Sorry, there's no world I let you hold a bigger bonus than me while I also deal with purple. That's just not going to happen. I have no choice but to break that. Because I'll be weakened from uh, fighting purple and breaking them. What are you going to do next turn? Probably stack here and come in and uh, take this from me. Because that's exactly what you want. We both want the same thing. These two right here on a one point hold right there. Green coming in, doing it for me. That's fantastic. 10v6, good dice. Breaks it, fantastic dice. It's all working out beautifully. Let green and purple fight each other. They've got a similar amount of troops now. And purple no longer keeps holding that uh, bonus. There we go. Now it's evened out. Purple needs to f spend a turn to fortify this over to here. That way it's an option to like get the stuff back. I think it was greedy of Purple to try to hold a plus 10 and a plus 6 this early on. That was their downfall. Is Yellow still here or do they bot out? They're still here. If I eventually hold all three of these and stack a big stack right here, I can kill guard Yellow. Yellow runs off the clock again, and I think the bot card traded at the end. Yeah, so Yellow is a bot now that's stacked all right there, which is great because that threatens both of your stacks. Red doesn't have a card trade here. They're going to try to do a 6v3 to beat my 3 there. They get decent dice there. Not that I'm really that worried about that 3 stack. 9 troops for us and a card trade on 5 for an extra 12 troops. Stack them all right here. I'm not worried about purple. Green is keeping them busy. It's our turn to go ahead and take all this out of here. I think we can get this bonus this turn with uh, decent dice. I don't even think we even need decent dice. I think we just get it. Although, I have to leave a bunch of three stacks behind. This map's a bit tricky to get things. It's a two-point hold for now. Uh, whoops, we messed up. All right, that's fine. We'll keep it as a one-point hold. We won't get it this turn, but we will uh, We'll still have a, a one-point hold with 17 troops defending it, which is fine for now. If anything, if the green player hits these two right here, we can then get the kill on uh, red for their cards. But if they card trade on three for 15, then that's actually bad for us. I think green's actually just trying to kill guard red over there. 11 troops for purple. I don't know why green doesn't want to grab this bonus. If they've gotten that a while ago, that plus four have done wonders for them. I think they're just afraid that as soon as they get, they'll get attacked by these other guys. Purple trades in for 15. Ooh, and they're coming down here with it highlighting that. Time for revenge. I've got 17 there. Ooh, 16 over there. Oh, they're, are they going to try and kill red for three cards? You clever, clever creature. Purple's good. Gotta be at least intermediate. You gotta hit the yellows 14, you only lose 8, that's great, but it's not an immediate card trade. And if it was a card trade on 3, that saves me from red uh, trading in on 3 and then slamming me with that. So this actually could work out okay for us. I'm not sure that was your best play. Red was not a threat to you. If anything, red was slowing me down. Bot attacks around a little bit. I could kill guard the yellow bot down here. 12 troops for us. Do I card trade in 3? I don't think I need to. Actually, purple could card trade and come do some damage to me. So for safety, we will card trade. So we have a nice, big, healthy amount of troops here. That way purple can't come down here and card trade and then break me because they could run all the way down from here. I'll push them out of here. But from up above, they could attack me and run all the way down here. Let's make sure not to mess that up. And then we'll fortify these over to here. Both kill guarding yellow for a little while and also making it uh, nicely defended down here. This has to go through me here. So does this. So does this. These connect up to here. Green, you finally going to grab your bonus? You should have grabbed that a long time ago. Now purple's in that scenario we predicted where they're in the middle of myself and green and yellow, I guess. 10 troops for you. You could card trade for 25. Give yourself 35. Stack that right here. Hit here, 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 here. I have 36. I out outnumber you. They don't card trade. Maybe they didn't have a card trade. They hit green. Did they get good dice and grab the bonus this turn? Seems like it. They push green out and take their bonus. If I'm lucky, green has a card trade in four and holds a grudge and stacks here and hits there and breaks them. Three troops for yellow. I could also try to take out green myself for their four cards. Gives me a card trade immediately for uh, 25. Ooh, that's actually good that yellow hit there because that frees me a path to go through this way. Oh, hit right here. Make it easier for me to take out green. Please do. Eh, not the direction I wanted. 19 troops for us. Stack them all right here. You'll have a card trade on five from you is dangerous. Do I take out you? Take out you? I think we do. I think we try to take out green here. If I have enough time to get done is the biggest problem. Let's get yellow out of here. So that's not a problem for us. We got enough troops. The real issue here is time. I need to push through here. Let's not let yellow have that back there. I, could have, I guess I could have kill guarded them there. We hit this. Oh no, this two does not reach there. I guess we can kill guard green. You know what? We messed up. We're fortifying back here. 
I needed to set, uh, this does not connect through here. I needed to put four troops here to do a 6v2 over there. Green trades in. Hopefully they'll hold a grudge against purple and go for them. They do. Okay, lucky, lucky, it worked out. I mean, they couldn't break me if they wanted to. And I, lucky, luckily for me, they're fixated on purple. Even they bought it out, that bot probably would have done some damage to purple. Once we had this one point hold here, and then this one point hold here, it became pretty hard for them to deal with us. Three for purple, but they do have a card trade. 30. They stack it there. That's scary. Why there? You're coming for me. This is what I was worried about. If I didn't, if I didn't take out somebody next turn, with good dice, you can break this. No, they just wanted to break my bonus. I'm not getting that uh, plus seven over there. I mean, I did break them earlier, so it makes sense they hold a grudge or something, right? Luckily, only one of them went for me. If they have another card trade on three, I'm in big trouble. I don't think I have enough troops to hit this. Hit here, hit here, hit here, leave three. Hit here, hit here, hit here, down here, leave three here, leave three here, go through here. Hit this, hit all this, all this, and come through here and hit this. I can't eliminate purple next turn. So if, they've, if they're gunning for me, I'm in big trouble. Well, clearly we have to stack here and hit this 32 stack and just hope they don't have a card trade on three to kind of like get revenge. Good dice. Uh, not the best, but good enough, I suppose. Fortify these over to here and try and defend again. And hope they don't have a card trade on three. Neither do I. If purples decide to self-destruct at me because I broke them early, we're in big trouble. There's, they'll feed the wind to green if purple wants to just throw the match, throwing all their cards at me. Four troops, please, no card trade on three. No, that's a card trade on three. That's 40 troops coming for us. That'll break probably most of our bonuses. But we can maybe recover from this. But it's going to be real hard. Probably get... To, ooh, not the best of dice. You won't break all of our bonuses. That's fine. And now you have no cards. So purple's self-destructing us because, to be fair, we did ruin their chance of winning. So, you know, like, I don't blame them. We were the one that stopped them early on. But I need to beat them and then somehow beat yellow. Or green, rather. Hopefully the bot trades in on, I guess, four next turn. They can slow down green a little bit for me. 13 troops for us is enough to reclaim... Our bonuses, we so very much need to hold these. Luckily, we kept one. Purple's doing everything they can to self-destruct. I mean, hold the grudge of all grudge. We hit this here. They'll probably break that, but whatever. And work on continue to fortify our troops forward. You can't card break and break me this time, Purple. Gotta watch out for green uh, eliminating the bot or purple for cards. That could be a problem for me. Honestly, green's doing a smart thing by slowly working on getting their bonuses because purple's mission is to self-destruct. I mean, the bot's kind of not a huge threat. Ooh, they want the guaranteed card. Purple is determined. No, they left me keep a bot. Okay, they self-destructed on me twice. They left me keep a bot. So now I don't have to worry about the purple self-destructing me anymore with cards. I can now focus on trying to deal with uh, green if I can. 1v1 with two bots on the side. Ooh, a card trade. That's scary. If you're good, you use that to uh, get some bonuses. You probably use that to break me, right? All three of my bonuses, but I have a card trade. I don't. Really unlucky to not have a card trade here. No, wait, that was the yell that card traded for. I'm done. That's the bot. That's actually great. The bot's protecting me from green. Ooh, and the bot just got a bonus. That'll distract green. We're fine for this turn. 27 troops for us is huge. We're going to learn from our mistake last time. Stack those right there. Put these right over here. I need to work on my defenses for a little bit here since that I did not have a card trade there. We're going to fortify my troops forward a little bit here. They break this bonus. I'm not that worried about it. I need to get rid of these people that are in these tiny little rooms like here and here and whatever. Then line it for elimination, elimination on somebody. 45 troop trade in is scary, but that means I will get a 50 troop trade in next turn. And I don't think 45 can take me out. Plus this 18 is protecting me over here, both through this way and this way. Yeah, they have to break that 18 and then they're going to try and break me, right? Yep, ooh, good dice. But I've got 33 here to protect me. Oh, they're going for the elimination on yellow, but your 25 over here is not enough. You can try and kill guard yellow? Oh, you're taking out purple for two cards. Good play, good play. But that's not enough for immediate card trade. 14 troops for yellow. It does prevent purple from using those cards against you, though. I need yellow to stack here and break this 25. Decent chance it does. Ooh, they break. That's great. And here it comes. That is why you don't just ignore a bot that's stacking huge here. All they had to do is break them. 28 troops for us. My 33, my stack is trapped back there. Give me these cards. Not super worried about it. Instead, we're going to stack right here, and I could try to eliminate some of this round if I can do my things properly here. It's going to be a bit tricky because, again, this map is a bit rough as far as, like, all the rooms go. So we'll see if we have enough to get the job done over here. Leave these little threes trapped everywhere. Oh, that doesn't even connect over there. Good to know. Can I even eliminate somebody here? I'm not going to have time, actually. Instead, I'm just going to weaken everything up here a little bit and get a two-point hold on all of this over here, that unless you guys have a card trade on three, 
or I guess four, you, you might have a card trade here. Problem is I'd have to go through all this. Ooh, 55 is a lot, but I have 129 troops over here. You can't take me out this turn. You could do a lot of damage to me though. Do I have a card trade in three to retaliate? No. Yeah, they stack it all right there. They hit the seven, they go through, hit this, and they break everything I have. That's fine, but I've got 38 to stack this turn right here, and you have yellow self imploding you from behind. What I need is for the bot to get rid of these two territories here, and maybe this one here too, then green becomes easy to eliminate in a single turn, and then we clean up the bot. No card train three is a bit rough here though, slows it down. 14 troops for yellow, come on, yellow. Yellow should break this, and for lucky, takes these two out and this out. Alright, so it's not going to take out that four for me, so it's still kind of kill guarding uh, green a little bit. Eight troops for us is not a lot. We're going to have to use this stack over here and let yellow continue to work on you back over there. Trace all this back. I won't worry about that right there. Let's trace all this back and go back to our one point hold, our beautiful one point hold that we abandoned for a little bit there. And should have, I guess we should have left some troops there, but that's fine. I mean, if the bot gets the kill on you, that's not a big deal. And if anything, it makes my life easier. Actually, maybe it could be a problem for us if they do actually. Fortify this back over to here. No card trade for you this time. Just hit me for a card, okay. Ooh, you love me, give him a bot, all right. Bot clean of time. 19 troops for yellow. Ooh, the problem there is they got a big old juicy trade in, but the bot's dumb and stacks it all right here where it can only hit right there. Thank goodness for bots being dumb, otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble. Have purple do two card trades to slam through me, and then green did their final card trade to slam through me. That's three like big card trades messing me up. To be fair, if, I, if yellow had still been a player, I would have played entirely differently. I only did this because I knew that was a bot that was going to mess them up. Ooh, you feed me the kill. Oh, you four, five, four is scary, though. Give me this beautiful card trade right here. And we're going to stack right here. And we are going to get the kill on green here, which will be lovely for us. Only put uh, three right there. We'll tag through here. We'll hit this. You did not kill Gar Green because you're a silly little bot. Thank you so much for your donation to the cause. I'll take your three cards. Actually, it does not give me an immediate card trade but it sets me up for the future. I need you to not have that stack right there. That's great. And we'll hit this here. I'm not going to worry about getting that bonus. I'm going to worry about breaking yours before I run out of time on my turn. Because you having all the time in the world to get, uh, or having all the bonuses in the world to mess me up is not super what I'm looking for in my life. You don't have a card trade, so that's good for us. Fortify this back over to here. Only four troops for you this time. Bot, what you going to do? Get great dice is what you're gonna do. 45 troops is a lot, plus a trade-in of 70 is massive for us. Put some over there, the rest over here, and then it is time to take you out. Little by little, we push through you one by one by one with these weird splits in this. This map is like the worst for splits. I don't think I sent enough troops over here. Oops. So it can take me another turn to get this done? No, we'll be okay. Unless I'm too slow. That doesn't even connect down there. Okay, we need to go. No, I screwed up. We got troops here. It's fine. Ah, took too long. All these tiny little like offshoot rooms you have to hit. The fact that all these things don't connect is a real pain. No car trip for you. 66 for us. Speeds it up. And that's the last territory right there. And there it is, you'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time.